Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Okay, so... We are nowhere near the airship again. Which means I have to go through the tedium of, uh... Equipping my characters blindfolded again. Isn't that fun? So, item, skills, equip. And... I'll equip lock, equip. Equip the first weapon. Equip the first thing that I can equip because that's the first strongest knife I have. Equip the second thing from the top because that will stack up my evade. Give it lock some extra HP, that never hurts. And now equip down to Terra. Equip. First weapon slot. One, two, three, that's the ice brand to boost her magic. Equip the first shield because it's the best shield I have. Equip the gold helmet because, yeah. Equip the mithril vest because I value the evade slightly more than I value the defense from the iron armor. So, yeah, as you can probably guess, my strategy is going to be having lock attack and terror use magic. And a relic. Select Relic, Terra, Equip, uh, first Relic slot, all the way down to the bottom. First thing up from the bottom is the Stat Stick. She can use the Stamina because I'm going to be putting Life Bell on her. She can use the HP and MP, obviously, though the MP won't come until I handy until I actually get to an inn. She can use the Speed because anyone can use Speed pretty much, especially the slow characters, and she can use the Magic, obviously, because she's going to be using Magic, so... I'd say, uh, five out of six. That's not bad. <laughs> but what is bad is when you forget where your cursor is because you were talking too long. Down. Relic. Okay. I didn't mess that up. So back down to the bottom. One, two, three, four. And there's my life bell. Relic, up to lock, equip, thing, one, two, three, and that's my thief glove, so that I can mug stuff for whatever that's worth, and I also, everything's kind of synergistic with lock anyway, so, uh, one, two, three, four, and there's a life bell. One last thing to equip. Equip skills. Now this is the menu that I hate because it messes me up in like every single segment, but lock Hi. up Espers. Yeah, it sounds like the Esper list to me. So uh, that's Kieran on lock. Because uh, if I'm going with Phoenix I mean, that's the only thing that will be valuable later, considering I can't make much use of the speed when I don't, when I can't be fast myself, and I can't make use of the vigor, so, yep, HP plus stamina it is. Skills, Terra, up to Espers. That's not what I want. Huzzah. Now hopefully I'm properly equipped. I'll probably just... If I didn't mess it up entirely, I'm going to probably re-equip myself off camera if I messed up a little. So, uh, on to part two, which should hopefully be a bit more exciting. Alright then, so that went poorly. Most I didn't actually make a mistake during the run. I actually made the mistake before the run. When I was counting the chest during my test run, uh, I messed up and double counted one and... That ended up making me fail the actual run because I panicked and, well, I didn't exactly panic. I wasn't going to leave with the last chest if I was missing one. However, upon further review, I've decided to give Locke the uh, Alex Sword right now. Equip this down Electric Sword. Because one, two, 
three, four. I, it'll decrease the chances of me seeing Cyclonic. Because it does double damage to the Wyverns. And Cyclonic's probably the biggest threat here, so... It also does double get damage against the Rain Man, which doesn't hurt. So that's one down and right. Mug you. Now Terra. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, Locke's just mugging away, and Terra can throw out poison, because that's something I'm sure I won't run out of. Basically, the plan is one attack and one poison should be able to finish off most of the things here. He used a bolt too, but it's probably not going to matter that much. My region's kind of, uh, quite good. Sonic Boom, that can get dangerous, but... Having Life Bell on both characters right now... Uh-oh. If that Sonic Boom was unlocked, chances of him dying just went up, except for the fact that he didn't die because he just attacked. Poison also does double damage against the Rain Man, so... What is it that I'm hitting? Oh, wait. There we go. It's dead now. I think I've had enough time to heal since that last acid rain, so... You're a goner. And less lock misses. Or maybe the damage wouldn't have worked out anyway, I don't know. Thankfully, the Waverns have uh, worse defenses than most of the other stuff, even though they have pretty decent HP. Wow, he's n not being nice and he's something, something dumb like Parasol. This strategy actually survived a pincer attack on my test run, so... Skills item. Yeah. Wasn't even in the red, so... Down, right, and then hold right for a while. Hope I don't get to a battle in the desert, because that would kind of suck. But at least I don't have the blood sword equipped anymore, which is, I guess, another advantage, because I won't be uh, killing myself on those uh, undead guys if one of them just happens to show up through pure luck. But yeah, best best case is spikes and rain men all the way down, but can't expect best case scenarios. However, it's not entirely implausible, given how short a walk this is, to have everything go ha just happen to go perfect out of pure luck. I heard a claw noise, so there's probably wyverns. Of course, Locke didn't hit with the elect blade, so this isn't going to finish it. This should finish it, however. Dead. Now I've only got one cyclonic user here. The best part is, uh, if one of them uses, if the spike uses sonic boom and the other thing uses cyclonic, two th wrongs kind of make a right. And. If I slip an attack in the middle like I did there, the region will probably kick in and keep me out of the red zone, the danger zone, where the things can hit me with, kill me with their physical attacks, so... And, of course, evading attacks doesn't hurt either, especially since Locke's practically built to do it. Oh, you are toast. <laughs> Goodbye. The region might save me a dried meat or so. Hmm. Could Terra have... Why did I exit out the whole menu? I did that last time too. Well, Terra's not dead, so... Cyclonic must have missed her. It's the only thing I can see that could have happened. Alright, Imperial Base, round two. All the way right, all the way down. 
This doorway is kind of strange, because when you sit just inside the doorway, like, before you actually enter the building, you could actually walk left or right from here, which is really weird, but it means I have to be careful walking into the building. Just in, to tell you a le bit of useless trivia that would probably be useless for just about everyone, but hey, whatever. It gives me something to say for another five seconds. Walk down the staircase, down to here, left to here. The good thing about this room is that even though it's a bit of a maze, I get feedback as to where I am like every two seconds. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And also, I don't have to walk into walls for an eternity. Twelve, thirteen, because I get noises all the time telling me what I'm doing. So yeah, that part could be longer and worse and mean, but thank you, treasure chests, for somehow making noises when you're opened. Exited through the door. I tried opening the menu, seeing if it would shut the door like it did down the basement, but it doesn't work. It's not that kind, although I suppose it doesn't make that huge difference. In fact, it might mess me up. Because sometimes when you walk into the door, if you don't hold the button for long enough, your character does not actually walk through the door. Which isn't normally much of a use, but... So yeah, the, the stove and the counter should line me up nice with the exit. Now I go down to here. Now that I'm out of the place, I should be lined up nicely with this exit. Isn't it convenient how things work out sometimes? I have made it to the overworld. And now, goodbye. Let's finish this, shall we? I hope. One, two, three, four. Okay, then. So, longest walk right here. Yeah, hopefully you can't hear those random people yelling out in the hall. Wow, did I seriously walk all that way without... That's like the longest stretch here, so that's good. Alright, I'm going left next. It's important to remember, although getting it wrong this direction wouldn't be that big a deal. Mug, first thing I see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lock, stop making noises when my menu cursor is supposed to be moving because that w is throwing me off and almost making me miss the sounds. At least I know when I press the button, so probably wouldn't result in anything going wrong. Goodbye, Spike. You're the only one that would counter with a or schmuck or whatever, however you would pronounce that noise, physical attack. Patunk. Patunk sure sounds like a punch, I guess. Yep, you keep doing that. I doubt you'll cut through my region, but anyway, but you keep doing that. Another enemy down. Pretty sure lock attack plus terra poison combination kills anything here. I don't even care if someone dies at this point because I'm right next to the town and I won't have to heal. Yay, victory! I defeated some chumps. Here we go. The town. And I get a free reheal here, so all that MP I just use with Terra, don't have to worry about it. Like, I mean free reheal without having to bother walking all the way to an inn. That's gonna be a pain in the butt in the world of ruin now that I think about it, having to walk all the way to an inn. 
guess I'll have to think about which inn is the easiest to walk to. May not necessarily be the one closest to an entrance either, but it's most likely to be. Jador seems like it would be pretty easy, although it's probably the most expensive one. All the way to the right. Hopefully this old guy won't get in my way. I changed this part of the route during my LLG because I kept messing it up in an extremely silly way and I'm not sure why it kept happening, but it did, so I changed it up. One more step to remember, but now it should be a lot more consistent and a little bit more waiting at this part. This old guy walks around pretty slowly. The fast NPCs are alright because they, they tend, like, It'll the luck will average out eventually, and if they're moving fast, it'll likely get out of your way pretty quick. But if they're moving slow, if they even walk back and forth twice, it's an irritation to say the least. All the way to the right side here. Time to get on the boat. I mean, only temporarily because I'm gonna go sleep at the inn or something first, but. Boats are nice, I like riding the boats. For some reason I get car sick a lot more easily than I... Well, I guess I haven't been on any boats where I'd be likely to get uh, seasick, but... I presume I'd have to be on a, something smaller than a cruise liner and... Probably on something different than a motor... a tiny little motor boat. Besides, that was only for like an hour or two at a time, but like one or two times I did it, so I guess I wouldn't be seeing seasickness from that. Anyway, enough about those shenanigans. We have reached the bottom of the boat, probably. Yes, because my menu is not opening. Hello, Cell and Shado. I presume the Empire only uh, hires people with names that make no sense. Then again, I suppose half the cast's real names make no sense either, but whatever, we'll just let those slide. If I hadn't encountered Shadow up to this point, I'd be facing an extra naming screen here, but obviously that was not to be, so. All the way to the top, might as well dash down right for a while <coughs> this should make me hit just a random portion of the dock but I don't mind that random portion of the dock being here because it makes everything it makes life easy alright that should be enough not really that long a walk like a chess piece. One and two this way. It's nice because if I just remember that movement like a chess piece, I only essentially have to remember one thing instead of having to remember two things. That skull is probably out of my way because chances of anything happening differently are probably 50-50 or one out of three, but who's counting, right? Two down and let's talk to this guy and time for another cutscene. Here we go. Oh, this one tells me when it's over, so I don't have to menu trick. Cutscenes that tell me when they're over are always nice. So that I don't have to put all the effort into moving my finger back and forth the whole... It seems like one centimeter on my controller. One and a half centimeters maybe if you're counting center of the button to center of the other button, but... And so Celeste jumped off the bridge and into the water. Oh wait, that comes later. Mm, I'm forgetting things. And we're back. One, 
two, three, four. Down to the, out the door. And now, the funny part is, I can just walk left and down all the way back into that corner of the boat that I was in before. They couldn't have laid out the, this town much more conveniently. Those guys down at Collingen and Nikea could learn a thing or two from the architects of this town. Also from this town's lower population. Overpopulation is always a huge concern for blind people. At least in video games. So yeah, just really long walk here. Couple screen transitions thrown in just to add some to the length. I think this is one of the longest walks so far in the game. Which is surprising because... This just is kind of isn't the town you'd expect it in, but considering it's not exactly filled with long, large spaces. I think I accidentally walked tw left twice somewhere in there, but hopefully it should not make any difference at all. Hopefully when I press up and right and A here, I'll just hear that nice sea breeze. There we go. And now I get to watch the boat move for a long time. And by watch, I mean listen, which is infinitely worse. It's just traveling all around the islands. I find it funny how I actually tend to say watch or look, even when I'm obviously not doing that. Because that's not the first time I've done it either. I've done it, like, probably four or five times already. All the way to the left. One, two. In my LG I had the I had the route planned out and I was and when I actually got here I was like, nope, just gonna improv something random. For some reason, it's just like, oh, let's walk up to the top of the corner of the ship. Wait, that wasn't the plan? What on earth prompted me to do that? Guess I don't need to menu trick just yet. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's get around the lock puking already. So that I can make disgusting puking noises and call it humor. So, uh, General Leo, did you realize that you're gonna die soon? Yep, it's a thing. Just warning you now. Don't say I didn't tol tell you so. I hear a door that's non-existent on this ship. What liars. This game's full of lies and deceit. I don't know why I play such a horrible thing. Especially vanilla, because that's the game where they give you all sorts of chests that tell you, Oh, look, you got like 20,000 gil. Oh, wait, it was actually 200. Yes! <laughs> Yay, time for puking! <laughs> Humor! It's 11 o'clock at night. I should probably call this segment quits out. Well, obviously, I'm going to call this segment quits after this. I mean, that's kind of the point of a segment. But back around to... I 
unfortunately, uh, the menu opens after all cutscenes in that chess piece movement again. In all cu after all cutscenes in this ship area, unlike a certain hack whose name starts with the letter R that I shall not mention. Then again, I suppose I would just have to hold up and mash A, so wouldn't be that much worse, but... At least I think that's the case. Alright, now, I almost think I should have done more planning for this segment, this part of the segment at least. Like, you know, what to equip Shadow with, but I was like, nah, I'm too lazy to bother equipping Shadow, no thank you, so I'm just going to start walking in the general direction of the Mesa and continue my s epic strategy of holding A. Blizzard, that means it's a Chimera. Probably actually safer than a battle with the Adamantoises, because the Adamantoises are immune to thunder, which is a pain. And they can use Cyclonic, my old friend from the Southern Island, which will actually pre present a chance, a greater chance of dying. This guy's alone, which means he attacks slowly, which get, means my life fell has a large chance to kick in and help out. Shadow's obviously doing nothing, considering he's uh, just punching it, but it's also not immune to poison, so that'll speed up the KOing at least a tad. Even if the, my attacks themselves are doing absolute garbage for damage against this thing's tanky defenses. I feel like I've made it two-thirds of the way to the maze already? For all I know, I won't even get another fight. I got three on my test run. I was like, wow, I'm surprised I got three on such a short walk. I was expecting two almost uh, invariably, but you are dead. Maybe I should, you know, heal, because that's the thing I should do. Oh, Locke didn't even need it. Terra only needed, like, one. And Shadow doesn't need any because I said so. Sh By the way, I don't. Yeah, I don't care about gaining EXP for Shadow during that segment because I really highly doubted the possibility of actually gaining a level. He required about 2,500 EXP for his next level, so I was like, eh, it's, eh, it's not going to happen. See you guys in the next episode. I don't really care because I, I get indication like every two seconds as to what I'm doing, so if I mess up, that's three things, four things, five things, six things, seven things, eight things, nine things, ten things, eleven things, lots of things, twelve things, thirteen, wait a minute, it's supposed to be like fourteen, right? Uh, well... I figured if I missed something, it would have been over there. Should be back over the wood stove. Perhaps it was a bad idea to go romping around like that. I don't have the door to go back through. On second thought, if I open my menu, maybe the door comes back. I'm not sure if this is one of the doors that does that, so I'm going to not try. Two. Up. Left. That wasn't the plan, but, you know, let's just roll with it. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that. Maybe I just miscounted or something, but... Yeah, I was being paranoid for nothing. Maybe I double-counted one of the chests, maybe that's my problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, there's only 13 chests in here. I miscounted on my test run. That would've been a lot easier otherwise. Let's check if the door respawns. Nope, that wouldn't have helped. Let's try again. 